in formation. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Vicky J, and I am going to show you what's in my bag. So whenever I'm traveling day to day, I carry a much smaller bag. But when I am doing events or I know I'm going somewhere where I want to like shop or something like that, and I don't want to carry a bunch of bags, I usually carry a tote bag. And that's when I have that I have a ton of tote bags. My favorite tote bag is the one that my mommy gave me for Christmas. And that is this bad boy right here, which is the Hamilton Tote by Michael Kors. And this is the studded version, black and white obviously, <laughs> and um, striped down the center. There are solid Hamiltons, but this one in particular is a limited edition one from 2014. Um, it is not studded all the way around. It's uh, the large one, as I mentioned, there's a 12 inch and a medium, and then this is the large one. And um, as you can see, it is huge. It's had some wear. I'm not a very good bag owner. I don't own a lot of expensive bags. So I haven't been that good to it, admittedly. Um, my cat has climbed on this thing. <laughs> so uh, I probably won't resell it. But, um, and because my mom gave it to me as a Christmas gift, I'm not gonna resell it. But this lock is actually functional. It has um, the little latch thingy here and then there's a key inside here. I haven't used it yet. I haven't had a need to use it these uh, straps right here are adjustable so you can tighten the bag or you can um, loosen it up and it's heavy because it's holding a lot of stuff it's a very sturdy bag these straps actually um, fit in the crook of my elbow very nicely even though I'm a plus size girl so that says something <laughs> and there's this cute shoulder strap with a chain link and leather. So obviously this is all silver. I don't think I saw this in gold, but uh, the solid color ones do have the option of gold hardware. So now that we've introduced the bag formally, let's go ahead and see what's inside. I'm gonna try to do this without hitting the camera. <laughs> I would clap. Let's show you guys the inside. It has um, the MK logo as the lining in a very uh, soft beige color. It has four pockets, four little pockets for holding items, two in front of the, um, the zip pocket, and then you turn it around, you have another two pockets. Um, one of these pockets, which is currently housing my phone, is like the perfect size for the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. And uh, I have an iPhone 6 with my Beyonce Formation Tour phone cover. Do you, just, do you just die? I love this phone cover. Let's get into what's in the pockets and then I can talk about like what's in the center and everything. So, I always keep a pad with me. I mean, there's mostly women watching this, right? So I'm not embarrassing myself here. This is, you know, something you got to keep on deck because you never know sometimes, you know, it sneaks up on you. I have my keys in a pocket and this is because normally you keep your keys in the zip compartment so that they don't fall to the bottom and you don't have to dig for them. But for me, I like to just grab them. You know, I don't want to mess up my nails and I'm a klutz as I mentioned. So I try to just keep them right within reach. And, um, you know, if I'm carrying the bag on the shoulder strap, I can just open it up, boop, pull it out. So, and for anybody who's curious of what this adorable little birdie is, this is a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works, and this is a hand sanitizer holder. You get this deal. I think you get it for free if you buy like six of the sanitizers. So, I did. In this compartment here, next to my keys, is my compact mirror this one happens to be from Sephora I think I have a couple of them from Sephora but yeah it's just a double-sided mirror with a really pretty renaissance looking print and then let me put my phone back in here then I have the zip compartment right right here which houses all of my cell phone stuff so I have my portable charger here. I have my plug-in charger for the USB port. And I have my headphones, 
these are little Sony headphones that I picked up and then, um, and then I have my USB plug for my iPhone 6 and as you can see these little bunny things I've got to link you guys to these I bought these on wish and they were I think a dollar you don't get to pick from like what they had but they had like little pandas and bunnies and cats and dogs and stuff and they just are meant to hold your wires together that's it and I just find them adorable and effective also in my zip compartment I try to keep pens you never know when you need a pen write down a phone number I mean who does that these days but still write down a phone number or um, you know sign a receipt whatever so I keep pens and I keep two just in case one runs out and then here I have the lip combination I'm wearing right now and I just switch it out as you know whenever I'm wearing a different lip color but this time around I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton and Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss and sepia on top of it finally I like to carry a fragrance with me so I have Marc Jacobs decadence in a rollerball and you know why not let's go ahead and put some on because yummy mm. 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 and that's it for what's in the zip compartment oh, smells so good so when I'm traveling whether it's transportation like public transportation whether I'm in the car you know um, if you're somewhere where you know you're gonna have to wait for a long time like a doctor's appointment or something I always bring reading materials and I have quite a bit with me because I'm going to an event tomorrow and I have to be early so once everything is ironed out and I have some free time I can thumb through some things right now my most recent magazine is Teen Vogue I got this free with purchase on some website I can't remember but I was like oh my god look at little Miss Willow she looks adorable so I put this in my bag to um, you know thumb through get some inspiration I really want to do some fashion blogs um, or fashion uh, yeah fashion blog posts pretty soon so that's what that's all about today was supposed to be my trip to the Prudential Center but we had to reschedule it so we're gonna go on the 26th um, but I thought to put this in my bag this is the Saks Fifth Avenue catalog because we were gonna be shopping and I wanted to see what I wanted I know I saw Gucci Beauty in here and um, a couple of other things and it's just full of it's just really beautifully laid out as well I don't know if you guys know this but I'm a graphic design major so <laughs> look at that Chris Louboutin Jesus also I am working to finish decorating my room to do a room tour for you guys so I have a couple of room design catalogs you know home decor catalogs in here I have Wayfair and I have Z gallery so I definitely want to pick up some new art you know those canvases on my wall are no longer going to work with my um, my theme for my room pretty soon so I do want to get a nice piece of art or some accessories or something like that so I'm looking at Z Gallery for that and I'm looking at Wayfair for some bedding and some um, some other ideas for my room I do want to do some organization like in my closet and stuff so um, also I saw some great doorknobs for my closet but anyway that's why I have those two that's all my reading material I am sunglass obsessed so I always carry a pair of sunglasses with me I don't care what the weather is I don't care what time of day it is I am someone who wears her sunglasses at night I dare somebody to say something so I always have my glasses with me my mom bought me a pair of guest glasses at the Rentham outlet <sighs> and I lost them I lost the glasses you guys but I didn't lose the case I don't know what happened I'm devastated to this day I have 20 some odd pairs of glasses and they're all cheap and you know there's no shade to cheap glasses because they're great I have a six dollar pair in here right now but I just want to finish this thought and say that I'm really upset <laughs> at myself for being so typical only child and losing the expensive shades my mama bought me <laughs> shame so I love this case because it's big and it's so you know I love big exaggerated glasses and the regular size glass cases don't really fit it so I really love this big um, hard sunglass case and I don't remember how much it was you guys it was, I was at the outlet so it wasn't expensive it was probably like less than $20 for the case but these are 
six bucks and I got these at Forever 21 but they're just the coolest things ever Ugh, I'm not ready for these to go out of style because look these are so dope I love them so much <clears throat> but yeah that's those are the shades I'm rocking for now I have a matching uh, wallet and I think I bought this but you know whatever I um from Michael Kors this is also from my I don't remember the, the name specifically of this one but I will link it in the description box if you want to purchase it it wasn't a lot at all I think I caught a sale I don't know if it was 20 or 30 percent off but I really really didn't spend a lot on this and I got it from the actual Michael Kors store <laughs> so you can catch a deal <laughs> you know what I mean you don't have to go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx and get like the twice off season stuff necessarily you can actually go in the store and get stuff on season for a reasonable price if you catch a sale so yeah I'm not gonna show you guys what's in my wallet but um, I am gonna show you that this is attached to the bag it has a little hook a little hook right here and you can put your keys on this too so anything that you don't want to lose can go right on this if it has a hook if it has a loop so I'm, I know I just said that I'm not going to show you what's in here. I don't have any actual cash in here, so I can stick it, you know, and my cards are kind of tucked away. I just wanted to show you that there are two little light compartments here. And this is actually designed to fit the iPhone 6 right here and still close comfortably. So this is a really great carry all. It also comes with a wristlet strap that goes right here. I don't obviously don't have it because I put it in, in the bag, but you know it's a it's you can carry it as a wristlet. So I really love this um, wallet because you can take this out your bag and you don't need your bag. Like if you're just running into the store or something. And um, I am a post weight loss surgery girl who has hypothyroidism, so I need snacks. I know I mentioned this to you guys in the Beyonce. Um, vlog video I need my snacks so I always have snacks on deck and I try to keep it healthy you know I usually have water in my bag I don't have it in my bag because it's on my dresser but um I cannot have nice things I have some dried cranberries that are infused with pomegranate juice you can get these at Walmart they are good they taste like candy they are so good one more time because I don't think you heard me so I'm just gonna make sure you heard me these are good Get them. I have some cashews which are literally my favorite nut ever. I love the cashew milk. I love cashew milk ice cream. I love regular old cashews. So unsalted, flavored, I don't care. But these in particular are just yummy as all get out. They are sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper flavor. You see it's almost gone. So I think there's only one more, th nope. <laughs> You know tote bags are like bottomless pits <laughs> so i have um some hand lotion in here this one's from juice beauty it's the green apple age defying hand cream it has anti-aging properties in it um it's supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles on your hands i have cat scratches all over my hands so i don't know like i don't i don't have wrinkles yet but um I can't tell you if this really works or not I know I like the feel of it I know it doesn't leave my hands greasy and um, it was only 15 bucks at Ulta also I keep a, a painkillers with me once again for the same reason I have the pad in there y'all know what I'm talking about so the last item in my bag is my makeup bag and this is from Sephora courtesy of breakups to makeups this is the um, holiday edition one. Uh, I think they had two holiday edition ones. One was white and then I got the black one all dressed up and ready to glow. Very cute and big y'all. This thing is big. Um, if you haven't purchased one of these from Sephora um, and you need a makeup bag that holds like full size brushes for example, this is good. And I prefer the leather ones because they're easier to keep clean but I think the burlap ones are just as nice. I use the one that I have to hold my makeup uh, my foundation samples so I think they're both still worth it so yeah let's go through what's in my makeup bag as well this is my angled blush brush um, number 49 from Sephora Pro and that's meant to put on what I'm currently wearing on my cheeks which is the Adobe brick powder blush from max vibe tribe collection tribe vibe I think it's vibe tribe 
whatever it's <laughs> you know it's a really pretty blush I'm wearing it right now I thought it was gonna be a little more pigmented than this but you know I went light I am carrying pretty much everything I have on my face right now that I would need to reapply possibly so um, mascara because sometimes my eyes get a little watery so I lose my lower lash mascara I like to carry that with me this is the Marc Jacobs Noir Velvet Noir my mineralized skin finish from Mac in dark deep this is to you know just in case I get a little oily um, powder down when the makeup wears off throughout the day etc etc so to put that on my face I have my foundation brush which is um, the Morphe M439 I'm really enjoying this brush a lot a lot I have a little bit of finishing spray in here Mac uh, Mac Pfft. Smashbox primer water <laughs> this is um this bottle is from my Ulta haul a couple of months ago like when they did the the 21 days of beauty and I picked up two bottles because it was buy one get one free carry um, another fragrance with me because I like mixing fragrances and this these Tom Ford samples go so beautifully with Marc Jacobs decadence but the actual full size of these is like $220 so I was like <laughs> let's use those sparingly um they're amazing and I've never smelled anything like these two fragrances and I literally want both of them because mixed together they smell outstanding and on their own they're gorgeous sandal blush is one and then the other one is jasmine rouge and yes they're available on Sephora's website I'm waiting for the um I'm waiting for the customer appreciation week in July I think it's in July like late July um, to pick them up because you get four times the points let's see what I'm doing there also let's see what else I have in here yeah I have some uh, primer samples this is like when I'm sleeping over someone's house and I need to put my makeup on again so I have um, Smashbox photo finish pore minimizer the mattifying one step from makeup forever or step one rather the under eye primer sample this deluxe sample I've had this for months you literally just need a dot under the eyes uh, this is my eyeshadow primer from Jessie's girl <sighs> Mac cork liner I mean what brown girl doesn't have Mac cork liner um, the master Kajal from Maybelline the brow is from Anastasia in ebony this is a universal liner this is from Dior and I've had it for quite a while it you can get one from urban decay as well they I think it's called zero and um, it has a lip brush on the other side which I haven't seen on any other universal liner I don't use the lip brush so so what you don't have to get it from Dior but the point is universal lip liner is great when you are switching out your lip colors or you just need to make sure it doesn't bleed you don't need color so that's what this is for it's really good I have my brush for powders like to dust away powders or fallout it works really great for that too and this is the Morphe M401 and I have a liquid liner just in case again you know my eyes water so just in case I'm let, like wearing that down I have this for reapplication and that's it all right so that's it I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bag video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know that you liked it comment in the comment section below if you um, carry any of these items in your bag if you have um, ever tried anything in this bag like any any tips and tricks you have for me for bag organization because even though I have things organized I still lose stuff in the bottom of my bag so you know talk to me in the comment section let me know what you do to keep your bags organized and don't forget to tell your friends about my channel and if you are new to my channel don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button because JBs get three videos a week and I try to bring you guys fresh new content and have a dialogue with you which is my most Im important thing about my channel I love talking to you guys so I will talk to you again soon check the description box for all of the links to anything that I could find the link to that was in my bag today and I'll see you guys next time Mwah.